Good morning, everybody. Myself, Principal Dr. Yasar Nimbore. On the behalf of Ashti Taluka Section Prasarak Mandals, Advocate B.D. Ambade Mahadila Ashti, I heartily welcome to all your team members. This is our inspiration. Let Advocate B.D. Ambade, Founder President of Ashti Taluka Section Prasarak Mandal, he and his some colleagues and friends met together and discuss about to start the higher education institute in this asti because at that time there is no any other facility available in asti so he starts the new higher education institute with vision a strong free minded and capable youth with social bonding and a mission a dynamic approach with firm belief in efficiency and hard work the institute have some objectives to communicate vision and mission of the institution among all stakeholders through prospectus magazine called Ivaspandan, institute website and display at various prominent places in campus. To improve overall personality of the students, to inculcate civic responsibilities, social awareness, values of patriotism, humanism, secularism, communal harmony and national integration among students to identify and improve the potential in culture, sports and extension activities, to make them aware of national and socio-economical problems. Now, this is the institute at a glance. Our institute established in 1972 and affiliated to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Marathara University, Aurangabad. Our institute is accredited by NAC previously in December 2016, and we got B plus grade with 2.78 CGPA also, we have get accredited by the academic and administrative audit by our parent university and we got also their A grade. Now, we have the certification from ISO 9001-2015 and NIRF and AISHE. The fact we have some faculties like in UG, BA, BCom, BCA and BSc is there. Out of them, BA and BCom is audit aided and BSc and BCA are unaided. In PG, there are MA and MSc, both are, both are unaided. In, we have high diploma courses and under BHOG, we have the UGC sponsored beauty and wellness course is there. Now we have a huge campus area about 14 acres and the built up area is 8,256 square meter. Now we have some silent features like that Sustainable development in adopted village Kashiwadi, Aadhaar COVID center in campus during pandemic situation, relief work for the victims of Kerala and Kolhapur Mara state flood, farm pond in campus with 40 lakh liter capacity, roof and ground rainwater harvesting is there, permi-compost project is there, stadium with 4, 400 meter running track, alumni association registered registered with Charity Commissioner Beard, initiative of librarian in setting a public library in Dr. Ambedkar's garden, Asti, contribution of a librarian in Incubnet, green initiatives of institute published as a role model by Rigi Publications Punjab, Advocate B.D. Humberde Society oriented Best Professors National Award confirmed every year. Now, compliances of recommendations by NAC peer team during second cycle, we have completed 100%. Computer student ratio is 1 to 15. And this is achieved, or this is the very uh, best thing is that we have maintained the ratio as per the UGC norms. Now we have published 167 research papers published in UGC listed journals. We have three Maharashtra Kesaris. Now, 28 value added add on certificate and diploma courses are there. 78 percentage of students are enrolled in that diploma and certificate courses. Now, we have 
43 awards and recognitions, 30 functional MOUs are there, 38 medicinal plants in our botanical garden with QR code, 42 trophies and medals in sports, and we have eight minor research projects which are sanctioned by our parent university, and these are successfully completed and submitted reports to the university. Now, this shows the, our master plan, and as per the master plan, the various buildings are in the campus are present there. Now, this is some of the building photographs. This is the uh, building photographs are shown in this picture. Now, we have a college development committee under the president of uh, Honorable Kishore Banshidhar Hambarde and all are the members of that committee. Also, we have for academic section, there is the IQAC is there under the chairmanship of Principal Dr. S. R. Nimbore and all other are the stakeholders are the members of that committee. Now, for the smooth functioning of work, we have various types of committees are established or organized in our institute. Uh, like student council, student redressal cell, internal, internal complaints committee, and as on that. Now, we have accredited previously by NAC in 2004, and we got B, plus, B, B grade, and in 2016, at second cycle, we got B double plus grade with 2.78 CGPA. Now, at the time of second cycle, the peer team members or give some recommendations and we achieve that recommendations 100%. Now this is the comparative state, uh, chart when at second cycle and now at the third cycle what are the initiatives taken by the institute. Now at the time of second cycle the name of the institute was Arts, Commerce and Science College. Now it is Advocate B.D. Hambarde Mahavadalai. Now, at the time of second cycle, add-on certificate and diploma courses are two. Now it is 38. At the time of second cycle, PG science is nil. Now it is five. Bridge courses are nil. Now all 24 departments have the bridge courses. BOS member is nil. Now it is 33 BOS members are there. CBCS patterns are nil. Now it is uh, eight CBCS patterns. Uh, CBCS pattern. Uh, curriculums are there. Five PhD holders at the time of second cycle. Now it is 15 PhD holders are there. Research guides are nil. Now it is seven research guides are there. ICT enabled classrooms is one. Now, uh, now it is seven ICT enabled classrooms are there. E sources are nil. Now it is all 25 departments use the e, e sources. Research projects are nil. Now it is eight research projects are completed by our teachers and submitted the reports to our university. Individual awards are nil. Now it is five. Seminars and conferences are 10. Now we organize 31 seminars and conferences. Research papers are 28. Now our teachers are published 164 research papers in various journals. Now one books is published at that time. Now it is seven books are published. Three collaborative activities at the second cycle. Now it is 10. Four functional MOUs at second cycle. Now there are 31 functional MOUs are there. In second cycle, our library is present in old building. Now it is well furnished, new building is there. Now 16 medals and trophies in sports at the time of second cycle. Now we have got 41 medals and trophies in sports. Now at the time of second cycle, the 35 placements of the of there. Now our 172 students are placed various places. Now in the time of second cycle, the welfare programs are one. Now it is eight welfare, welfare programs for the staff faculty. Now, e-governance is one, uh, was one. Now it is eight e-governances are there. Now this shows the UG programs charts. Now we have total number of 18 UG programs are there. 
in ba there are 10 programs in bsc there are five programs and bcom bca and bvoc under in undergraduate program we have six postgraduate programs are there in ma history hindi and marathi and in msc organic chemistry maths and computer science so as per the demands of all stakeholders they wants to start in our institute uh, the skill based courses they wanted to start the skill based courses so our institute is taken the initiative and send the proposals towards the ugc under the nsqf scheme and we got five diploma courses from ugc firstly we got the two diploma courses accounting and taxation and atom boil and Tex uh, technology in 2018-19 and later on we got three diploma courses that means the all five diploma courses are in our uh, institute is run now this shows the curr curricular planning and implementation we have firstly the uh, we have made our calendar of the institute as per the university academic calendar then in institutional timetable departmental calendar workload distribution annual teaching plan daily teaching diary curricular and extracurricular activities continuous internal evaluation result analysis feedback on curriculum and feedback analysis and action is to be taken now this picture shows the uh, annual teaching plan daily teaching plan and how the evaluate the teachers planning uh, uh, using the monthly report monthly syllabus compliance report from teacher and this will be the uh, evaluation is there and when some syllabus is not completed by any teacher we have to take on the action on that report now this shows the teachers participation in various bodies in the university level our teachers are participated in various bodies like board of studies paper setting paper assessment curriculum design and development flying squad chief superintendent and joint chief superintendent this shows the yearly uh, teachers are participated in various bodies now this shows the number of students uh, sorry this shows the value added certificate and diploma courses we have 13 value added courses 14 add on courses seven certificate courses and five diploma courses are there now this shows the number of students are admitted year wise in uh, such value added add on certificate and diploma courses now this shows the cross cutting issues in curriculum there are uh, some cross cutting issues are present in our curriculum as per the professional ethics gender human values environment and sustainability in professional ethics this uh, this is present in our curriculum in the subject of economics public administration and history as per the gender sensitization this comes into the curriculum of sociology political science hindi and zoology uh, programs and in human values these are comes into the curriculum of political science and public administration environment is comes in the curriculum of botany and zoology and sustainability is comes into the curriculum of commerce botany zoology and chemistry after the completion of our curriculum we take the feedbacks from various stakeholders and these feedbacks forms are collected analysis is there and we have to take on the action on that feedback forms now this shows the number of students are admitted year wise and gender wise now this shows the category of category students are uh, enrolled in our institute as per the guidelines of uh, government we have maintained the ratio of category students and open students are there now we have the assessment of learning levels and for that purpose we have some policies for slow learners are identified by their performance in the class test at first year and the advanced learners are identified according to their performance in first and second year university examinations as the students are identified as the slow, slow learner or advanced learner we have some special programs for slow learners that are the remedial coaching is there notes are provided to them language laboratory is there 
now we have to take the tests of that students and we provide the bilingual methods also now for advanced learners we take the competitive examination committee is there uh, seminars are arranged allocation competition is there career guidance poster presentation and group discussion is there now for student centric methods we have three student centric methods are there that is experiential learning participative learning problem solving learning now in experiential le learning there is the practical record study tours and industrial visits research projects wallpaper presentation under participative learning community works skill based training programs student participation in various competitions student seminars and group discussions now in problem solving we have the soil testing water testing esb detection and health checkup farmer interaction with crop related issues now this shows the some of the teaching uh, ict facilities are available for teaching in our institution now we have mentor mentee mechanism the institute practices the mentor mentee scheme to address the academic financial psychological stress psychological stress related and needs of the students in pandemic and post pandemic situation the scheme worked effectively for example tele telephonic guidance for online exams use of online learning modes and we have the ratio of mentor mentee is 1s to 43 this picture shows the some of the mentor mentee mechanism and we have to take at the end of the year the feedback from that mentees and we have to collect the report on that feedback this picture shows the our professors raleba and professor pathan sir gives guidance to their mentees or now these are the evaluation process and reforms we have continuous internal evaluation evaluation, evaluation system in that case the academic calendar is there examination committees are there internal examination committee is there unit test group discussions seminars personal counseling and e sources and there is transferred mechanism of internal assessment evaluation process communicated in advance well planned conduction of examination display of internal and assessment of marks assess to students verification of their answer sheets performance based discussion and suggestion now these are the exam related grievances and redressal now we preparation of institute calendar to match university calendar continuous internal evaluation system is there appointment of examination chief superintendent and understudy institute level examination committee is there transparent mechanism for conduction of examination time bound redressal of exam related grievances for example during examinations result of some students was withheld the institute received applications from these examining students verified appeared students from exam department and forwarded the applications to university to get corrected result sheets we have some pos and cos and the attainment of the attainment of the uh, curriculum course wise and program wise the department wise toppers in university examination student performance in various activities student participation in cultural program students participation in college magazine self entrepreneurs students achievement in sports students appeared in competitive examination these are the some attainments of our programs and courses are there this shows the result analysis year wise and <clears throat> we have some research contribution our we have total number of faculties are 44 and out of them 15 teachers are with phd holders seven teachers are phd guides and we have mou with phd research centers that is the number of 3 and our teachers are published total number of papers is 167 62 papers published in conference proceedings and 10 books are published one chapter in books and we have completed eight minor research projects and submitted the report to our university now this shows the some workshops and seminars conducted we have conducted 31 workshops and seminars in that tenure and this shows some pictures of that workshops and seminars 
or webinars. Now there is the extension activities. Uh, we have total number of 56 activities are organized in neighborhood community social issues like plastic free campus, blood donation camp, tree plantation, water conservation, Swachya Bharat Abhiyan, uh, food distribution to COVID-19 patients, personality development and self-employment. Now our NHS unit is a strong enough to address locational advantages and disadvantages. Apart from that, we raise fund to help victims of calamities. Our NHS program officer have undertaken training of disaster management. During Kerala flood in 2018, we organized rallies to raise relief fund and it was transferred to the collector of that district. During Kolhapur flood in 2019, apart from our individual contribution in CM relief fund, we have raised fund above, above 1 lakh rupees our NHS unit with program officers and some volunteers reached the flood affected people and rendered necessary services there. Now our institute is have a NHS, strong NHS unit and uh, our NHS unit is engaged in all types of extension work uh, like plantation, Sramadan Shibir for water conservation, sanitization and health checkup camps. These are the some photographs of our extension activities. Now our students are enrolled in that extension activities year wise this shown in this table. Now our institute and our uh, colleagues or teachers got the 43 awards and recognition. Some pictures are shown there. Now we have 30 functional MOUs with different organizations uh, like MB Placement Amandagar, Ithyas Sankalan Sansta Maharashtra, Dasrat Krushi Vidnyan Mandal Ashta, Tiger Career Academy, HU Google Agrobiotech Company, Anandra Dundalias Babaji Mahatale Kada, and uh, Radhabai Kale Women's College of Amandagar, and also the Bhagwan Mahatale Ashti. Now, this is the infrastructure at a glance. Now, we have a huge, a huge area that is about uh, 14 acre area is there and out of that area we have a built up area is 8256 square meter and in that built up area various uh, uh, facilities are available in our campus. Now this shows the some photographs of the infrastructure like classroom, physics lab, smart board, zoology lab, botany lab, chemistry lab, computer lab and LCD classroom is there. Now we have the sports facilities. Uh, eight, eight outdoor state out, outdoor facilities are there, and five indoor facilities are available in our institute. Now these are shows the some photographs of playgrounds: handball playground, 400 meter running track, kabaddi playground, and cricket playground. Now this is the instruments for curricular, uh, sorry, cultural activities or cultural events. Now our library as a learning resource and our library is partially automated with ILMS software sold 2.0. Now we have 30,000 books are available in our library. And in library, there are e-sources are there, 70 CD DVDs are there, 65 periodicals are available, 80,000 e-books are there, 500 e-journals are there, and we have a OPEC system for searching the books. Now our librarian contribution in Inflibrate development is there. That's why he got the certificate from Inflibrate. Now we have the IT infrastructure, five classrooms with LCD projectors, two seminar halls with LCD projectors. And this is our achievement is that we have 125 computers and we have maintained the ratio as per the UGC guidelines, that is 1 is to 15. We have one smart board, two computer labs, and one language lab is there. Now we also have the IT facilities, like our computer lab, administrative lab, and central library is equipped with server, Wi-Fi enabled classrooms, uh, campus, and LAN facilities are available. Library is partially automated with sole software 2.0, and administrative office is fully automated. Now we have the net 
net facilities are there and the speed of that is 110 mbps now for maintenance of infrastructure uh, we have some uh, mechanism is there that is set up of various committees for maintenance of campus infrastructure optimum utilization of facilities and services for the benefits of stakeholders timely upgradation repairing servicing and replacement of the resources measures taken to ensure safety at workplace measures taken by the institute that is skilled persons on job work for maintenance of furniture and electricals for the cleaning of classrooms duties are allotted to support staff periodical charts are prepared and supervised by maintenance committee maintenance work is supervised weekly by office superintendent and vice principal and principal checks and monitors all the work now we have government scholarships and scholarships we have provide all the scholarships which are provided by the government to our student that is gy and welfare rajar shri chatrapati shahu maharaj shishruti dr punjab rao deshmukh bhatta yojana merit scholarship for economically backward classes minority scholarship सक्षम स्कॉलरशिप फॉर हैंडीकैप स्टूडेंट्स सेंटर सेक्टर स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम ओपन टैलेंट स्कॉलरशिप स्कॉलरशिप फॉर हायर एजुकेशन दैट इज एस एच ई नाउ दीज आर द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर गेट्स बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम द स्कॉलरशिप इयर वाइज दिस शोज देयर नाउ दिस इज वी हैव सम कैपेसिटिव बिल्डिंग इनिशिएटिव आवर इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्स द इनिशिएटिव फॉर द कैपेसिटिव बिल्डिंग कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग दैट इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ करियर कट्टा earn and learn scheme lifelong learning and extension certificate course in health and physical physical fitness soft skill development certificate course in yoga and meditation personality development now this is the student progression our 120 c1 students are placed in various places and some of them are gets self employment 86 number of students are goes from ug to pg 67 students are qualified in state level exams and 96 students are appearing in that state level exams now for a student presentation the students are presented in various bodies in our institute like uh, student council college development committee internal quality assurance cell sports committee anti ragging nss career guidance committee student welfare committee commerce association cultural committee and magazine when this representative of student gives some suggestions or uh, makes more demands we have to solve that problems uh, with our uh, institute now these are the some cultural activities different types of cultural activities are arranged in our institute this picture shows the annual college gathering in 2020 inauguration and uh, inauguration function and second picture is the audience of that gathering and second picture shows the students performing in yuvak mahotsav at university campus and we got the certificate from our parent university now this is our special achievement that is the sport activities and this is our strong point of our institution we got the maharashtra kesari balarapik shekh got the maharashtra kesari award and also we have another two maharashtra kesaris are there the second picture shows the handball match and this is our best achievement is that our in last five years we are the winner of that handball in our university also we are the winner in women's kabaddi match and also in men's kabaddi in ict iut and I, iut national we got the 41 medals in ict six medals in iut state level and two medals in iut national level we have the governance of the institution these are as in intact with the vision and mission we gives excellence in higher education empowerment through knowledge inclusive growth for socio economical changes student empowerment with relevant knowledge innovation in teaching learning and research optimum use of human and natural resources awareness of human rights human values holistic development of the student through value based education and community services the academic calendar is well planned so as to give a complete expression to
to the curricular, co-curricular, extracurricular, and extension activities. The governing body, CDC, IQAC, Student Council, and various academic and administrative committees institutionalize college work in orderly manner. Now, this is the organogram. The General Governing Council is the higher authority, then College Development Committee, and principal. Principal distributed his work in two branches, that is academic and administrative. In academic, IQAC is there, coordinator of IQAC, departmental heads, teachers, various committees are there, and then course coordinator is there. In administrative side, office committee is there, and under the office committee, there is office superintendent, head clerk, junior clerk, senior clerk, junior clerk, and support to staff. As like that, our work is distributed in various faculties like the organogram. Uh, we have the e-governance for the uh, working in our uh, institute for administration, student support, and account. We use the master soft that is called cloud-based. And for library, we use SOL software that is SOL 2.0. In examination, we use the university portal through MKCL. For scholarship, we use the MahaDBT portal. And for salary purpose, we use the STEC award. Now, these are the some welfare measures as for the uh, staff concern. We have eco-friendly campus provided for hidden fund, is, fund facility is available there group insurance facility is there, maternity leaves are provided to the uh, ladies staff, cooperative credit society is there, group insurance, medical checkup, canteen, counseling, safety and security measures are there. Now for faculty empowerment, we have some strategies. Our 49 teachers provided with financial support to attend seminars, conferences and workshops. 11 professional development administrative training programs are organized by our institute. 70 teachers attended faculty development programs, that is orientation program, repression course, uh, short-term course, programs like that. Performance-based appraisal system for teaching staff is available and confidential report for non-teaching staff, that is the CR. We have some financial audit strategies are there. The institute has internal and external audit mechanism. The internal audit is done by the authorized chartered accountant appointed by the institute. And the external audit is done by the senior auditor of higher education and auditor general of the state periodically. We have accredited by the academic and administrative audits uh, by our university and also by the internal quality assurance sale. And we got A grade in both of the academic and administrative audits. Now we have some gender equity promotions programs. Our institute uh, developed some gender equity promotion programs that are the national seminar on women empowerment through entrepreneurship and skill development sponsored by NCW Delhi, state level workshops on women laws and digital literacy for women sponsored by MSCW Mumbai, Workshop on use of mobile app in preventing women torture. Workshop on sexual harassment of women at workplace and organization of guidance program that is Kali Umaltana. Now these are the some specific facilities provided for the woman in case of safety. That is the first aid is provided. Anti-ragging cell is available there. Security guard is available there. And some suggestion box are there. And as per the security, we have the CCTV surveillance facilities there. Damini Patakov Police Department is coming here uh, regularly. Woman driven cell is there. Discipline committee is there. Medical and physical checkup camps are arranged in our institute as per the concerns of lady staff and lady students also. Now there is the counseling. Mentorment scheme is there. Guest lectures of eminent scholars are arranged there. Gender sensitization programs are arranged there. Sem some seminars and workshops are also organized as per concern to the lady staff and lady students. Now there is the common room is available and in common room, in, in ladies common room, there is the toilet facilities are available there, separate reading room with washroom facility for girl students in the library is available. Now sanitary napkin vending and disposal machine is available in our common room. 
and there is day care center is available for in day care center cradle for babies of girl students and lady staff walker for younger children and swings and slides are um, available for the kids now we have the waste management system is there there is the solid waste management and liquid waste management in solid waste management we have taken the mou with nagar panchayat asti for collection of non biodegradable non biodegradable solid waste uh, solid waste is collected every week by nss volunteers and support staff wallpapers newspapers carry bags and dry leaves are collected every day by sweepers every week the ganta gadi of nagar panchayat collects waste for campus now in liquid waste management liquid waste and chemical waste for from laboratories is collected and dumped at a specific place in the land other liquid waste collected in the dustbin is also dumped liquid waste is bifurcated in chemical liquid waste and non chemical liquid waste now in e waste management this is the uh, very dangerous thing is now there that in in that case we get for e waste management we have functional mou with munis enterprises st and all the e waste collected department wise and return to the munis enterprise st now we have waste recycling are available there for biodegradable waste is recycled and we you gives that biodegradable degradable for the premi composting project all the biodegradable waste leftovers of tiffin grass and dry leaves are collected and mixed with the dung and water to be recycled in vermi composting project and waste water from the water filter is directed to plants in the campus when the some uh, vermi compost after the vermi composting there is the this this nutrients are provided to our uh, trees are present in the campus now for water conservation policy this is our uh, plus point or this is very big achievement of our institution is that we have a in that area the water scarcity is available in the season of summer there is no water is available for that purpose we make uh, the farm pond is developed there and this farm pond generally the farm pond is fill up with the help of water or bore wells but in our institute this farm pond is fill up only the rain water harvesting is used there in our area or in our campus there is the number of buildings are available and on that building when rainfall is drop on that building or on the roof of the building this rainfall is collected together and passed into the uh, that uh, farm pond and uh, when the rainfall is down in the ground this ground water is also collected at single place and there should be the this ground water is uh, stored in the bore wells for recharging the bore wells now these are the our institute we have got the regular audit quality quality audits are there that is the green audit energy audit um, and the gender audit and like that audits are regularly the initiatives for inclusive environment for inclusive environment social health and communal harmony we regularly organize cultural events road shows rallies and orientation programs now these are the institutional values best practice first ugc sponsored diploma courses under nsca and best practice two target oriented achievement in sports and institutional distinctiveness sustainable development in adopted village kashiwadi now the students there are many good things we practice in the institute every year we identified two of them as best practices and include it in aqr collectively we have 10 best practices in 5 years two of them included in ssr first one is the ugc sponsored diploma course and second one is the target oriented achievement in sports for skill development course 
we sent proposals to UGC. We got two diploma courses sanctioned first and later on three diploma courses are sanctioned. As on today, we have five skill courses. Students get placement and self-employment and other benefits after completion of that work. In sports, every year we got new goals and try to achieve uh, it. Number of medals and trophies underline the evidence of success. Now for sustainable development in adopted village Kashiwadi, we consider as our distinctiveness. In NHS, we adopt nearby village throughout three years. Formal camp is organized when students stay in the villages. But after that, we all take we all stakeholders keep visiting the village and understand local issues. Now this is the some photographs of our institute distinctiveness. That is the adopted village Kashiwari. We organize their various programs like check, uh, health checkup camp and water conservation policies there. Plantation is there. Some these are the paper cuttings of that programs. Now we have <coughs> look. We look if we look at the SOC analysis, we have a big list of streams, big campus, eco-friendly atmosphere, ICT-enabled classrooms, pioneer library, adequate PD Humberdale Stadium with almost all sport grounds, computer labs, language lab, and well-equipped departments, qualified staff, and technological experts. Ties help us for academic excellence. In weaknesses, we have no industrial zone. We find problems in student placement due to drought situations. We don't have sugar factories and agro-based projects in the region. Now, we still have opportunities to make our students career-oriented and achieve success in civil service exams and sports. Government, as per the institutional challenges, government policies restrict the recruitment of staff we have to appoint staff as per requirement on temporary basis and we find problems in getting qualified staff and maintaining student teacher ratio now these are the some future plans uh, by our institution new administrative building development and updating of science labs mous with a foreign institutions organization of student induction program, creation of innovative ecosystem, increase in scholarships from institute and other NGOs. Thank you.